you don't have to be hard on yourself or be ashamed rather speak out and get help so that the perpetrators can be brought to justice this was the submission of the inductees of the 2021 and 2022 report women female reporters leadership program held in Lagos. Plus EV Africa correspondent Lovi Kuko Yedekun tells more in this report. This is a gathering of very powerful network of women in journalism. They have distinguished themselves in investigative journalism. Having gone through rigorous training, mentorship, produced stories and initiated leadership projects, they are now ready and poised to be inducted into the fellowship. Look across our newsrooms all over, whether it's radio, print, uh, broadca uh, broadcast, there's no question at all that women are underrepresented. And this initiative is it's very important because um, it empowers our women folk and then gives them the opportunity to take over the industry. Doshima Abu, Bukola Sami Wemimo, Kimberly Wachiku, Haneta Felix are among the 21 female reporters added to the network for the year 2021-2022 fellows. It's been career transforming and life changing. It has helped me to step outside of myself, and step outside of my personal challenges and be more compassionate uh, and be desirous of helping other people. I started this program while I was you know, a staff, a reporter and presenter at Plus TV Africa. And the fact that, you know, the station gave me that opportunity to also carry out a leadership project where I trained about nine female reporters and interns at Plus TV Africa and do a story project about an issue that's so sensitive, that's sexual and gender-based violence. It really is an honor for me. This fellowship is a blessing. I'm saying it with a white smile on my face because, I mean, I've had people even call me to say, we need to have you come train other journalists outside my circle, outside my immediate environment on a continental level to say, come and replicate what you've learned from this. Come and teach other journalists. Come to our school and teach young girls and young boys about sexual and gender-based violence. So it's not just about my job professionally growing and mentoring my colleague. It's about taking it to journalists who are outside my school. Over the months, we've seen a number of young girls, children, being raped by those who are supposed to protect them. And so this has made me more intentional about telling your story, going to them and telling those stories, and holding government accountable. As damaging as sexual and gender-based violence is to the dignity and sanity of any person, they agreed that survivors must be willing to seek help. We will not stop talking, we will keep talking until something happens. And we will keep reporting these issues until we see results. And that's the goal. That we will not just tell reports, but when we tell these reports, we get NGOs involved and we get every organs of government, anybody responsible involved, until we see that we come to a logical, we see that these stories come to a logical conclusion. Either those who perpetrate, perpetrate this ill are held to account or face the law. I would say to someone who is a survivor of sexual and gender-based violence, do not be afraid to get help. You would get justice if you stick at it. Don't be quiet, don't be silent. This culture of silence is the reason why the perpetrators think they can get away with it and the circle continues. The induction of these 21 female reporters makes it 73 fellows since the inception of the fellowship started in 2017 and the report on women program since 2014. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.